Today in this long-awaited episode of Mogs vs. Mixologist, Shelfidix, our guest contender, has an extraordinary mission. Crafting a cocktail capturing the essence of green chartreuse, all without a single drop of the actual potion. Armed with his homemade elixir, he's on a quest to rescue us from the chartreuse shortage. But will he emerge victorious? There's only one way to find out. So if you guys are ready, let's see if jean Felix can truly end this chartreuse apocalypse. Let's go. What's up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to make a quick comeback on the homemade chartreuse videos. I received a lot of positive feedback and I'm amazed by how many of you really tried the recipes. And I'm also extremely happy about what you had to say about them. The most frequent conclusion I received as a feedback is it's the best substitute for green chartreuse you've ever tried, which makes me extremely proud. But also, all of you who really tried the recipe came back with some very interesting and constructive comments on how to improve the recipe. I really liked a lot of your ideas and I already chatted with some of you and that gave me the idea that it could be really cool if we would make of this a community effort. So if you want to be part of this and haven't watched the video, yet. Both recipes for the green and the yellow chartreuse will be linked up here. I also shared on my Patreon a cocktail ebook with both recipes and my thought process behind all that. So if you want to grab one and be supportive to the channel, it's always greatly appreciated. The link is going to be in the description below. And I'm pretty confident that together we can really soon achieve a result that's so darn close to the real green chartreuse that we won't have to think of the chartreuse apocalypse ever again. That being said, the reason we're here today is because when I made the videos, I only tried the cocktail with my own elixir rather than making a side-by-side -side comparison. And I think it needs to be done. So that's what we're going to do today with a cocktail that's really chartreuse forward, one that uses chartreuse as a main spirit. We're going to make a side-by-side -side comparison with the chartreuse swizzle. This cocktail was created in 2003 by San Francisco bartender Marco Valdo Dianisos. Dianisos was and is probably still today a great Chartreuse fan. He started participating in Chartreuse cocktail competition in 1999, always ranking in the top three. In 2003, the organization invited him again as a Chartreuse star bartender, but he didn't have much of a good idea to share that year, so he was kind of hesitating. But the organization really insisted, so he came up with this idea, a crazy idea. Idea, using green chartreuse as a base spirit in a tiki style cocktail and he came back with the top spot. It took a couple of years for the cocktail to take off though, but it really did and it's now today a modern classic. But not only that, with the last word, it's one of the reasons why the chartreuse in the past decade and a half became so popular in the US. So if the chartreuse shortage is partially due to the increase of popularity of the elixir in the US, is it safe to say that Dionysus is actually responsible for the chartreuse apocalypse? Maybe. So I think it makes of this cocktail the perfect choice for today's video. So to make the cocktail, what you're gonna need is green chartreuse, phalernum, freshly pressed pineapple juice, and freshly squeezed lime juice. For the falernum, if you can't find it, I highly recommend you use Velvet Falernum. That's the one the cocktail was created with and the one with the best flavor profile for this cocktail. Today I'm using Bitter Truth Golden Falernum, which is an okay substitute, but in my humble opinion, not the best one, but it works. So that's for the classic recipe and for the other one, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're simply gonna use my homemade green chartreuse instead of the real one. We're not gonna change anything else. The specs are going to be exactly the same. So that way we're really gonna have a real comparison. So now for the cocktail, in a large glass, we're gonna start with one ounce and a half of green elixir, whether it's mine or the real one. Then we're gonna add a half an ounce of falernum, one ounce of freshly pressed pineapple juice, and three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then place your swizzle stick in your glass and fill it almost all the way up with crushed ice. Now it's time to swizzle, to chill, dilute, and emulsify the cocktail. If you don't have a swizzle stick, you can always use a bar spoon. Simply gonna churn to make sure it's probably chilled and diluted, but I like my swizzle stick. Now 
Then we top it all the way up with more crushed ice, garnish it with a generous mint bouquet. You can spank the mint if you want to release some aroma. And lastly, we're going to add a straw next to the mint bouquet, so it's going to tickle your nose when you're going to sip on the cocktail. And there you have it, the Charter Swizzles. Cheers. Mm. I wish so hard you could be all here with me to be my witness and give this a try because now all you can do is just to believe me. I hope you will, but all I'm thinking about is how hard it is to pick which one is which because honestly, they're really similar. I can pick some differences, obviously, in the cocktail made with my mock-up chartreuse. I think it's brighter and lighter and it's probably due to the fact that there's way fewer ingredients than in the real chartreuse, like not even 20 different herbs and botanicals in comparison to to be 130 in the real chartreuse. So because of that, it's probably less complex and brighter and also lighter in flavors. But still, we get a lot of herbal complexity in that cocktail, even though it's mixed with bold ingredients, you really get that chartreuse feeling. I'm even gonna push a reflection to a point where I'm gonna say I'm 99% confident and if I would serve a chartreuse swizzle with my mocha to someone who's really used drinking chartreuse swizzles with real green chartreuse, you would never realize I'm serving him a mock cup. But that's just me, my opinion, and I'm the only judge in the room. So if you want to find out by yourself, well, you know what to do. Recipes are everywhere. Patreon up here in the description below. So feel free to do it and to share your thoughts. I would be really happy to hear them and eventually to make this recipe evolve into something even better. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go to turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and cheers to the end of the chartreuse shortage, as I said in the previous videos. Cheers.